Well, hello and welcome to the InfoGov Hot Seat. I'm your host, Jim Merrifield, and with me today is Tony Ford at FIT. Welcome, Tony. How are you? Great. I'm glad that you were able to uh, take some time out of your busy schedule. I know you're preparing for Ilticon in the next month, and uh, I've seen you know, a lot, a lot of stuff going around the company and, and fit. And uh, so again, I'm, I'm very excited to sit down, get to know you and the company a little better. So let's kick this off. Uh, can you tell the audience a brief introduction of yourself, your current role, and one fun fact about yourself? Fun fact. Okay, we're gonna start <laughs> into the fun stuff. Uh, Tony Ford. I'm the founder and president and CEO of uh, FIT, which is actually spells out the future in tech. Uh, you know, founded out of we've been around about 18 years, but we were founded out of the BDS world, which is the managed services company. So this is our tech company that we spun out of BDS a few years ago. Uh, fun fact uh, that people wouldn't actually know: I'm a sneakerhead. I am, uh, you know, I probably keep around 100 pairs of sneakers in my circulation, which is terrible to admit as a grown man. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We're going to get along really well because uh, do you wear sneakers uh, for conferences? Do you wear them uh, for, you know, I absolutely do. I'm, I'm a Dunks and Air Max guy. I have Air Maxes on right now with my suit. I just, you know. I love it. <laughs> All right. Sure. those things. That's awesome. You're the you're the uh, Air Max guy. I'm the Converse guy. So that's uh, that's awesome. Like that's cool. Sweet, sweet. So let's talk about the company a little bit. Uh, future in tech. So when you think about the competition out there, right? There's there's a lot of competition between products and things. What's the key differentiator in your mind of your product versus the competition? I think uh, our approach is a little different. We we. We sell in modules, so you don't have to buy the entire governance suite. So we give firms opportunities. We, we will help you with just the closing workflow. We'll give you just retention and disposition. You can separate paper from electronic. I mean, there are, there are just a lot of different needs out there within the legal community. We're focused primarily on legal, but we do all kinds of different workflow tools. I would actually say we're more of a workflow company than just a governance software company. So Everything we do, we aim to be configurable because you have to put it in the firm's hands. How you separate a process, how you authorize a process, and how you execute a process is really where, we're, where we start from. Nice. Love it. So you mentioned, you know, your product's a little different, right? You can kind of just uh, purchase what you want to use. And you mentioned some product features. Are there any specific ones that you're focused on right now? And and why, without giving, I know there's probably some releases at Ilticon. I'm not asking you to divulge some information, but hey, if you want to give us a preview, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I think uh, I, there's no secret. Our big launch is going to be mobility. Uh, we, we took a very different approach to mobility uh, than I think has been done before. It's an actual separate product. So you can overlay it. You can combine it with the governance suite. But what we try to do is create a quarantine approach where firm credentials, you just have your own locker that's cloud-based and you can push and pull right now. It's configurable about what you want to do. So we're looking at, you can push and pull 20 terabytes in an instant in a very secure way and, and clean it, house it, inherit hierarchies from whatever your DMS is, your RMS. It doesn't have to be ours. So we're doing some interesting things around that. Uh, we have an office release, uh, an upcoming, it's our, our office product was built really for the traditional FM world, you know, helping. So it's a mobile app for, for uh, you know, for those who still track files on the floor and have to scan barcodes. You just use your iPhone. So we have some of those tools that that will be released as well in the next month that are updates. But primarily, it's, a, it's just a new build. I think it's a very, it's a fun build. Uh, we try to make, you know, we're all former governance managers. I'm more the e-discovery side, but... Uh, the rest of the team all were records managers and firms around the country. So you try to get everything, the experience to be three clicks or less. That's really, you should be able to, anyone should be able to use it. An attorney shouldn't need to be trained. And there's no record clerk that should have to not be able to figure out the system within five minutes. It really has to be a simple approach. So it's, it's not a simple system, but we made it look less complex. Yeah. I couldn't agree with you more. And three clicks for an attorney is a, is a nice sales pitch there because yeah. uh, less clicks, 
you know, once you get to the four yeah. or five, you know, six, seven, eight clicks, forget it. Yeah. They're never coming back to the boat. <laughs> no. They're no. on the island forever. That's right. You do three clicks, they might wear some sneakers around the office. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> For sure. So um, you mentioned ILTA. I know you'll be at ILTACon next month. Uh, is there anything in particular you're looking forward to at ILTA? Uh, this will be our first ILTA. So we, uh, although we're an old business, we were able to secure one of the scholarship opportunities for startups because Future Tech is a startup for us. And uh, that's pretty exciting. I've, I've attended ILTA a lot. I, I think I've even spoken to a few ILTAs, but always as a guest, never as a host. So it will be fun to have a booth in the exhibit hall and have a demo suite where we'll be showing all kinds of different things and catching up with the peer group. I mean, obviously, I've been doing this for more than a week, so have a lot of friends and, and uh, that I've, I'll be happy to catch up with. And a lot of companies we do business with. We, uh, we're releasing a few connectors with companies like DocSolid and others that are doing some different things for, to help some of the bigger firms around the world. So this should be an exciting time. Yeah, no, that's great. Looking forward to meeting you in person. I've, I'm sure we've probably crossed paths at some point, but, but it'd be we nice have, to have. We probably just don't remember when and why. Probably, probably not, you know, but we'll definitely see each other in, in Nashville. Looking forward to that and connecting and having some, some nice conversations there. Um, now, I know we talked about a bunch of different topics, but Tony, is there anything else you wanted to share with as a final thought with the audience before we uh, let you go? Sure. I mean, I, I think there's a couple things. I, I, I know everyone is concerned, or with the least the feedback I'm getting as we talk to uh, clients, about documents in the wild and, and how we're dealing with network shares and how we're dealing with OneDrive. And, and uh, I think it's a major focus and something that we focus on. So our product does all that and, and really is focused on the future of the Office 365 suite and, and hosted SharePoint and what will probably be co-pilot a few other things. AI is a real issue for all of us. So trying to figure out how to do all that and do it securely is the next frontier. So, you know, the certifications we are, we're all SOC 2 and ISO and, you know, we're, we're looking at a federal piece, so we're FedRAMP uh, as well. But how are you going to deal with AI and all of those different things is really the future of this business and trying to do it securely. That's, that's really the fun part. So we're, we're looking forward to actually learning some more. There's a lot of uh, AI workshops at ILTA this year. So joining some of that, I, I know you're working on a paper on some things for AI and lawyers. So reading some of that and some of the other peer group stuff, you know, the LFIG stuff, we're all we're all paying very close attention to it. So that's really, if I could give any advice to anyone entering the space or learning more about the space, the peer group studies are where it's at. That's where we all figure out what the biggest firms in the world are doing and who spent the money on the research. Yeah, and that, that's the power, right, of the, peer-to-peer -peer networking at conferences such as ILTA, ARMA, others, right? It's it's we, we're we're all here to learn from one another, and I think we're all figuring out this AI thing, right? Yeah. Um, even lawyers, right? Lawyers are looking for training on how to use AI. I think everybody's using it, right? But the the uh, I think the tough part is how do we use it safely? Um, yeah. For sure. So um, now let me ask: You're on the West Coast, right? You're in LA. Yep, Los Angeles. Okay, so are you a Dodger fan? I am. You're a Dodger fan. So congratulations last night, home run <laughs> derby, right? Hernandez. Yeah, that was pretty fun to watch. Oh, that was awesome. That was probably the, one of the best home run derbies. Come on, that uh, yeah, in a long time. Uh, well, there was one uh, with, with Soto a few years ago that went back and forth. That was pretty exciting as well. But yeah, no, we were all sitting on the edge yeah. of the seat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And listen, I'm I'm pumped up because. Oh. Uh, you know, we got we got Soto on our team, so you know. But you got Hernandez, so maybe we'll meet each other in the World Series this year. I don't know if we're able yeah, to. Uh, we'll yeah, I don't know. You guys got to get past. Uh, yeah, you guys got to get past Philly, and we got to get out of our own way. <laughs> yeah, no, Philly's always tough, and you know, for some reason, the Padres always sneak up, and uh, you know, the owners of the Padres, we we share a floor here in our office, so I have to hear them talk all the time. <laughs> Yeah, no, for for sure. So that's always a fun time. I just wanted to, I I I couldn't uh, help but ask because I know you're on the the West Coast. So again, 
thanks for uh to, for joining us on the hot seat i think this is a great conversation um you know so thanks for taking the time out of your day if you'd like to for our audience if anybody would like to be a guest on the hot seat it's a really simple process just go to our website infogovhotseat.com fill out the information and uh, we'll get you on the the docket or on the schedule like tony here and uh, thank you so much and enjoy the thank rest you. of your day yeah you absolutely thanks